back to another video. It is Marion and I today. It's Saturday. We're going on a little getaway. We're just going to the next town over Roanoke and we're gonna do some shopping. I've been wanting to go to, I've been, as I keep mentioning in my videos, I've been hitting up a lot of thrift stores looking for different things and we just don't have a lot of thrift stores where we live so there's more in Roanoke so we're gonna go there even if we just find some Goodwill some Goodwills to look at. I know that they do have a couple though that I've looked at and we've been to one before and it was really nice, really big. So we are gonna go shopping. Marion has some gift cards that he got for his birthday. I guess one for his birthday, one for Christmas. And his favorite, is it your favorite store or your second favorite? His favorite store, Woodcraft, is in Roanoke. So that's where he got his gift card. So he's gonna use that and we're just gonna get some Sonic probably because we don't have a Sonic in our town and every time we go, I have to have Sonic. <laughs> Even if I just get a strawberry limeade, we'll get some good food, we'll do some shopping, so I thought I'd take you along. And if we pick up anything, obviously, I'm sure he will, he will use his gift card, but we'll, or his two gift cards, we'll uh, do, a, I'll do a haul at the end and show you what I got. It'll be a little different than in my typical vlogs, but I thought I'd take you along. first a thrift store. I always forget about this, but it's like right on the outskirts of Roanoke. It's called Thrift 460, I think. And they have like sales every day. Like you look at the sticker and stuff is like 90% off, which is like up to 90%. Must be from like a cafeteria or something yeah these are really pretty 350 for one little plate one little bowl no nope, each one I love the color plates for like Easter they're only 50 cents there's 10 of them serving platters these are huge here before I don't know if this is I'm not I'm not really into antiques but we'll see what they have I love all the colored glass oh it's so pretty it's not cheap <laughs> but wow wow I 
I just think for different holidays, like they're so pretty. That's $20. These were literally like my favorite childhood toy. You put these little characters in the chairs and we had like, oh my gosh, the whole set. I love that. $5 for each. Yeah, they've got some real antiques. I don't know what this is. Potato ricer. Very old. I love these old jars with the galvanized steel lids. Look at the eight tracks. And the cassettes. Eight tracks don't really want. And over here we got DVDs. I guess these are considered vintage. <laughs> And uh, VHS. These are really pretty. Copper and brass, $8.99. Ooh, I like that. I love the copper. It's beautiful. It is $42. Wow. That's pretty too. $69.99. <laughs> Is that what you've been looking for? Yep. Is that a good price or no? Um, honestly, I don't know. It's got the cords, but it's, it's not really No way, this is just like the canister. Oh my gosh, I just got the small one of these at Goodwill. And look, these two match. Oh my, it's the same exact one. Oh my God, $45, that is so fun. Or 45 just for that one. <laughs> Wow, if you saw that um, Goodwill, there it is right there. Or that's like a little smaller one, but it's missing the lid. Yeah, I got this at Goodwill for $2.99, I think. Something like that. That one's 10, missing the lid. Wow. I just love all the, the glass. I know I said it, but it's so pretty. The colored glass. You can use it so much for different holidays. He's been looking for a planer. Planer? Is that what it's called? It's, it's a hand plane. A hand plane. Mm. Messed it's up all, on the bottom. It's all cracked. Look at the size of this. Wow. That is huge. I totally had it. I totally had it all. The little baby playpen, the changing table, the high chair. Oh my gosh. The stroller. And yep, I had it all. There's the baby. How much is this? 12. Those are cool old cutting boards. That's creepy. <laughs> that was a really fun place. I'd never been in there before. We've passed that hundreds of times, it feels like. Um, but it would literally take hours to go through everything. It, it, if you love antiques or you love just vintage, that's some really cool stuff. We didn't buy anything, but um, I loved all those glasses, the different color glass. They're just way expensive. So that you would find like some of the same exact things in this different booths and they would be double the price so you just have to take your time and look around but that was fun so it's almost two o'clock because we keep stopping and 
well, it's 1, 148. We're gonna go find a Sonic. Then next to the Sonic is where the store that Marion wants to go to. So there's also a Marshalls and a Once Upon a Child next door. So that's where I'll be when he's in Woodcraft. These are all empty. It's so dark. So we made it to Woodcraft. It's right there. Marshalls is right here. I'm going to run into Marshalls. But we were, went to Sonic. And did we get in the drive-thru? We got in the drive No. Half the things were the drive, drive pull-in things were broken. So we ended up getting in the drive-thru. We waited 10 minutes. It didn't move at all. So we left to go somewhere else. We couldn't find anywhere else that we wanted. So we came back to Sonic. We waited, I don't know, 10 minutes after we got there for them to even take our order. I had to flag somebody down. Um, and then um, they must have lost our order because they, they came out like 20 30, minutes later. 30 minutes Did y'all get your food? I'm like, no, we haven't even been able to pay. Then they brought us our food, but they couldn't didn't bring our drinks. And then they couldn't get our card to work, so they had to go get the manager. And I don't know, an hour and 10 minutes later, we're finally eating. Is it worth it? Yes, it's Sonic, but wow, wow. So it's like 3.30, 3.15, I don't know, but we're gonna eat our Sonic and continue on. I'm gonna head over to Marshall's now, and he's gonna go into Woodward. There's also a Once Upon a Child. I might go down there if, if, you know, if I have time. donuts I don't know if it's open I see the drive-through everything is so crowded today oh I don't see any donuts all right this is the Salvation Army thrift store it says Roanoke thrift store Marion's gonna sit in the car and enjoy a coffee and a donut and I'm just gonna browse the Housewares probably probably won't be in here too long. All right, I'm gonna try this one. This Goodwill. This is a All nice right. one. Hopefully, we can find some stuff. Didn't find anything in the Salvation Army. It was pretty small and picked through. It's about seven o'clock and we, I don't even remember how many Goodwill, maybe went to like three Goodwills, two or three different thrift stores. And then I went to Marshall's, didn't find anything at Marshall's and there were so many people. We, Roanoke's a bigger town than where we live. And so, yeah, sometimes just being <laughs> on a Saturday in the crowd, it was too many people. It was too many people. And of course our Sonic the craziness but Marion one he I am still so full from lunch we didn't eat till three something so he picked up a little Caesars so I said I'm not making dinner when we get home so um we have that and some Krispy Kreme super healthy but I'm going to show you a couple things I got you know sometimes when you thrift shop you find a ton sometimes you don't find anything I loved that antique mall though that was just really cool and we'll definitely go back there when we go to Roanoke I've never been in like I said but it was super cool so um I imagine if you 
go back. There's different stuff. So we'll check that out again. But Marion ended up just buying one thing at Woodcraft. It's a Benchmate non-slip pad. He um, said that was the only thing he really wanted in the store, but he can use his card online. So he'll, he will no doubt buy some stuff there. I got a couple things at Goodwill. You know, you can't try on. And I wasn't looking for clothes, but when we don't fight, when we... Uh, and after I looked at everything, like the housewares, I was like, well, let me just look through the clothes really quick. And this was half off. So it was only $2.50. It is the Lauren James brand. And it's just a white t-shirt. And it's got this. It reminds me of like a Simply Southern. Just like a big roomy t-shirt. It is size medium, but it's kind of like wide. So that was only $2.50. And then at one of the Goodwills, I got this. This is the Airy brand. Oh, it does have a stain. Hopefully I can get that stain out. I don't know if it picks up on camera. But I love this color so much. It's just a comfy sweatshirt. Not too thin, not too thick. That was $5. And then at the first thrift store we stopped at, I did buy just a couple little things. Nothing, nothing too much, but it was still fun. It was just so fun to look. That antique mall was really cool. Um, and just to go out and hang out with Marion all day. And yeah, it was nice. So I got this at the, the first thrift store I think it was all their clothes were four dollars unless they were like certain colors then they were off, uh, percentage off but this is just like a pink cardigan this is nice for when I like to wear over a dress in like the spring I don't want anything like I don't want to wear a jacket but it's a little too cool for just a dress that would be nice or I could even wear it with leggings I liked the pink you know and then I think I, I think we paid like 50 cents for this. Marion took it up and paid, so I don't remember. But I think it was like 50 cents. <laughs> I was like, you're probably wondering why I got a big purple plate. But I got this for Easter. I had like a lot of different platters for different holidays and seasons. And this will just be really pretty for Easter. I love like to decorate and to use this color for Easter when we have like our Easter dinner. So for 50 cents, I also had like a blue one. They had a couple. But I thought that was really pretty like for some cookies or something. And then this was $1.50, I believe. It said small baskets were $1.50. So I grabbed this, and my idea what is to put a plant in it. So it'll just be like a, like I'll put the, yeah, put the plant inside of it. I'm just liking baskets lately. And it brings in the warmth and the, like the wood tones that I've been wanting. Also, I'm going to put my glasses on just to see this. This is a VTech Click and Count Remote. I thought it was so cute. This was $3.50, but it has... You turn it on and it has like little working buttons and of course I got this for Paisley and she loves to steal the remote so she has her own little remote now I thought that was so cute I'm just gonna clean it but it works great so VTEC a good brand too so that is all that we picked up <laughs> so um, I hope they enjoyed coming thrift shopping with us and I'll definitely do it again I love thrift shopping and there was still like multiple stores there we only like went on one side of town we didn't even go to the other side of town so we'll definitely be going back so that'll be fun i love i love a good bargain and i love thrift shopping so i'm wearing those pants that i got from halara i love them they are so comfortable i wore them all day in the car walking around they're so comfy they didn't get like stretched out at all i'm gonna get me another pair in dark wash i love them so much if you saw that video if you didn't see that video go check it out these pants are the cutest, most comfy pants I've ever owned. So anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of video. It'll let me know that you liked it and I can make, make more of them. So I love you and I appreciate you and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.